Talking about people who murder a track and, and talking about actually touching upon what you said where you don't mind if someone comes onto one of your tracks and puts that work in. No Beanie question. Siegel on the album. That's my that's my brother right there. He um He went in, you he, know what I mean? Yeah, he killed that. Yeah. I mean the the, the beat is hot. Yeah. But his flow, his, his what he's talking about. Yeah. I mean I think essentially the way I saw it he was talking about life in jail. Like being that in that trap. Being trapped, that mentality. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. That mentality. I mean, number one, you know me. I, I'm. I fuck with all the realest niggas in the game. You know what I'm saying? All the real niggas love me. Like I can literally get anybody in the game who I felt. If I want to get the niggas pounded out, I can get them pounded in any city. You know what I mean? I got MCs that will jump in beefs for me, wow. just because they love me like that. You know what I mean? I got dudes that are really. Make it hard for a lot of dudes to survive in the game. You know what I mean? And these are the dudes that really respect me and they count on me to be who I am. You know what I mean? Which is that real nigga 24-7. But we keep it cool. We keep it humble. You know, all praise is due to the father. We not here for negativity. But we're just here to really look out for one another. Yeah. And that's the kind of relationship that I have with Siegel, you know. We should have been doing things years ago, but it was just the timing, you know, we wasn't able to be around each other the way we were when we was putting it in on this joint, but I felt that that beat had his name on it, you know, that's me going into my producer mode again, like, hmm, who would body this beat, you know what I mean, <laughs> and I ask a couple of questions, and, you know, we get a couple of good answers, we get a couple of weird ones, but at the end of the day, we move with the right men. You know what I mean? We grab the right men. I'm talking about these dudes have have the same energy that I have. Mm. You know, come from the same school that I come from. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, it got their name on it. It's the same way I, when I did the screw it on the Barbie with Big Boy and Outkast. Yeah. We knew we was going to make a collaboration, but they didn't know which direction we was going to go with the production. See, I'm always coming in some kind of way, sticking my two cents in on the beat mm. because I know how we supposed to sound as right. as that collaboration. We've been doing this shit since the, the Jodeci era, you know what I mean? We've been doing this when we've been saying songs like Method Man is going to knock y'all out the park. You know what I'm saying? When we knew Protect Your Neck was the truth, when we knew Triumph was going to blow your head off. Mm. You know what I'm saying? These are all the things that I always had my ears and eyes on, you know what I mean, coming up in this business. You know, I feel like I have become successful by watching other people who I help become successful. You wow. know what I mean? That made me more successful. You know, it ain't so much about the money side of it, it's about the respect side. And I have a lot of insurance in this business when it comes to respect. <laughs> I have a lifetime, Plenty. you know what I mean? Yeah. I have a life insurance in this business that is just worth so much, you know what I mean? So, like I said, I just pick good friends to get on songs with and make exciting songs with. Something to talk about. Wow. Now, yesterday, uh, Method Man was speaking to MTV. Um, he mentioned something about an album, a Meth album, Ghost and Ray, all in the same album. That... I think he said that it's that discussion discussion stage. He wants to see how the fans feel. I think he said that Riz has produced some tracks as well, some other people, but we're gonna go with it. You got your album to push out now, Ghost is gonna have his album pushing out. Is this in discussion stages or have you done stuff already? I mean what's the status with that at the moment? Um, it's definitely in discussion stages, you know what I mean? Where it's like, you know, we all you know, we all want to do more things with one another because we know that's what the fans want. And, of course, we want that too, but it has to make sense. You know what I mean? Everything has to make sense. You know, we know that we're the guys and the crew that really can pull everybody even more closer together. You know what I mean? Because we are so much a little bit more on a more heard and seen level. And um, at the end of the day, I think it would be cool. It's just that the politics of everything got to be dealt with a certain way as far as the label, what yeah. label is going to be on. You know, my thing right now is to run an independent ship, you know what I mean, and basically go out there and go get my earnings that I'm worth 
and for me to have to do a situation with them with another label situation, they're gonna have to, you know, get down for it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we in it for the money too, man. We gotta get money. We gotta, we got responsibilities and things that gotta get dealt with. And you wanna have the right label, knowing the power of what this is, and and really making it what it's supposed to be. Until we get to that level of it and everything is dealt with correctly, mm. I'm excited. I'm with it. You know what I mean? But it's going to be some talk about some real shit. <laughs>